Hey everybody, this is Anthony with you again from Biblical Truth and Reality. Welcome back to another video. I had a request from somebody asking me to do a video about the topic of hate regarding hating the sin but loving the sinner. Is that true? Is that really biblical? Well, you're going to see, brethren, in this video that it is not biblical. In fact, it's quite contrary to scripture. God does hate sin and the sinner. And we, through the uh, grace and strength of the Lord Jesus Christ, should hate sin and the sinner as well. At the same time, loving our enemies at the same time. How can that be achieved? Only by and through the Lord Jesus Christ and his grace and strength, like I said. Without him, we can do nothing. So you will see that it is quite impossible and unbiblical to love the sinner but hate the sin. Quite an unbiblical concept. You'll see the truth in this video, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Now, there's a common phrase that you would hear at church that goes something like, that we should love the sinner and we should hate the sin. Now, what's amazing is, is that's not only true within the church, people say that phrase, but it's also true for outside of the church, because people say, well, I'm supposed to love somebody who I don't agree with, I just hate what I don't agree with about them. But I actually want to change that phrase, because actually I think there's truth to the phrase, but there's actually a better same phrase that we really need to grab hold of, and it's this, that you need to love the sinner and you need to hate your sin. What the hell are you doing? Have you lost your mind? That you need to love the sinner and you need to hate your sin. No way. No way. Yes way, Ted! First, let's define the word hate to get a better idea about what we are talking about, Webster's 1828. To dislike greatly, to have a great aversion to. It expresses less than abhor, detest, and abominate, unless pronounced with a peculiar emphasis. See these passages given. So we see by all these passages that there is such thing as a righteous and holy hate against sinners and sin. Now, Jesus did say in Matthew 5, that we are to love our enemies, which is true, obviously. So Christ is speaking of loving our enemies in action, which is what love actually is. So love, within civility, is to be exercised toward all men. However, a holy hate, if I may call it that, is to be exercised against wrong and wrongdoers. It is possible to love an enemy, to do good to them, yet hate them in righteousness without being bitter, furious, and angry in the flesh toward them. That can only be achieved by the grace of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. So the whole belief system of love the sinner but hate the sin is not biblical at all. It's ungodly. It's an ungodly mindset and concept. Now, when someone preaches the passage in Leviticus to have them be put to death, yes, the law of God does say that. There are passages for that. In fact, I'll display them right here. This may not be all of them, but it's some of them. Okay? If a government is to correctly govern a country, then yes, that should be carried out if they refuse to repent and change from their vile ways. And that goes the same for all others in the Old Testament who deserve death, who refuse to repent and change under the Old Testament law, because they were under the theocracy monarchy of that time. Now, the King James Bible also teaches to obey the laws of the land, within reason, unless they contradict Scripture. The reason why we don't stone people, kill witches, or any of the other Old Testament laws that people often go to to condemn the Bible from the Old Testament is because we are not under that theocracy, monarchy, government anymore. 
The New Testament is what the New Testament Christian is to abide by, other than the laws which have not changed, which are the Ten Commandments, dietary laws of the Old Testament. So I only obey the Constitution as long as it does not contradict Scripture. Where it does contradict Scripture, I reject it. Under correct application. Brethren, it is not our job as Christians to turn any government into a biblical one. Our job as Christians is to do the following. Obey the laws of the land, preach the word of God entirely, and warn the wicked to turn from his evil way to avoid the wrath to come in the future. Wait for our coming king to rule and reign with a rod of iron by the book, which will consist of the Old Testament laws regarding morality and justice. Both a theocracy dictatorship will be established under his rule. The Constitution, in reality, is a big joke. My allegiance is to the King James Bible, which is how every country is to be run by. Now, if you reject that, you can go ahead. That's your choice. But when Jesus Christ returns to this earth and rule over this whole world against your will, then you will have either two choices. Either obtain blessing from Christ as king over the earth, or be annihilated and kicked out into everlasting destruction. It's your choice. If the Bible is right and Jesus is returning, you will bow before him and you will proclaim him as King of kings and Lord of lords, or you will be destroyed. Again, it's your choice. Make up your mind. So as we conclude this video, we can hate sin and the sinner in a biblical way, as mentioned before, without being bitter and angry in the flesh but we can love them at the same time in action. But we can hate them in righteousness by not fellowshipping with them. That can only be achieved through the Holy Spirit and the Lord Jesus Christ. No other way. We cannot do it within ourselves. So with that being said, brethren, love the Lord Jesus Christ, fear God and keep His commandments, and read and believe the King James Bible. Thanks.